Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, so my view that we're not going to see a lot of price movement until we get the CPA data was probably right. Um, so today will be quite an important day. I mean, don't expect too much here, but uh, we can expect some volatility, Expect you know, when the CPI data will be released today in the US. So that will be at 8.30 Eastern time is my understanding. That would be when the New York Stock Exchange opens. So here in the UK, that is around 1.30. Um, not sure where it is, you know, depending on your time zone. But um, this is the time then when we can expect here some, some volatility that will shake the stock markets up and probably also here crypto. So we need to be prepared for that. Uh, bear in mind, any volatility, and that is what we have seen before, can also just be lasting for maybe a couple of hours. There will be a lot of bot trading. Um, it will be very unpredictable in that period. So be aware of that. Um, overall, yeah, Bitcoin, again, hardly moving. Yesterday, I already considered the idea of this just being here a triangle. I mentioned that to you that um, yeah, we had basically just here the way four not yet ended. And yeah, that we are overall just here in an extended triangle sort of thing that, well, that we actually have this WXY pattern, as you can see it on the chart here, for this wave four in red, the WXY, but that the wave four actually never ended, not yet, and that the wave four will be somewhere late, uh, later, and we'll move it, move it to later, yeah, so we extend this whole correction, and that we have this WXY pattern, but that the wave Y comes actually across as a triangle, um, so that is the idea that I presented to you here yesterday. Um, no guarantee this one is finished until we really break below 28k. That is the level um, below which we would invalidate here the triangle in which, which I would be confident that we continue to move further to the downside until we really break that level. We've seen it many times before. You get a lot of, um, yeah, not necessarily fake outs, but a lot of support around that area. At the moment, the support is sort of the support level of this triangle here, which is at the moment around 29.2K. But the real important level that we need to break below is, well, one of them is 28.6K and the other one is 28K here, the wave X low. So in terms of the triangle here in the wave Y, what we can see is, or at least, you know, that is an idea. Nothing is guaranteed here, especially not in the current very muddy market conditions and especially not where we're still waiting for CPI data. So we will need to need to see how this is going to play out later. Um, but we can see this as a wave A, this here as a wave B, this as a wave C. We could maybe see the wave D now as complete and the wave E still unfolding. That would suggest that after the wave E we would move to the downside. Um, this is sort of due to the three wave decline here from the wave C to the wave D, it just suggests that the wave D um, could be finished now, yeah, um, that it hasn't been finished before, but this here is a, a three wave decline, basically an ABC, which makes it very likely that this is still a corrective wave, and therefore we are now waiting for the wave E upside. Um, bear in mind, at the moment, this is all speculation until we really finally get a breakout. This has been really a long correction, so any um, forecasts here, any predictions on this chart, extremely difficult at the moment due to the muddy, let's say muddy price action that is currently going on here. And without a signal, without a clear signal, we can only assume, we can only make assumptions. Okay, so what we do see here is, yeah, that the wave four probably isn't finished yet. And uh, what I showed you before is this potential that actually the wave four, hey, it could have finished up here. Yeah, we could have had this WXY pattern and the wave Y finished up here. Um, and the wave four, which is the important one, finished here. And then after that, we already started here on our move down, as you can in see it indicated on the roadmap, to make a lower low on the Bitcoin chart in a one, two, three, four, five impulsive decline. However, and that is what I mentioned to you already days ago, that I'm not convinced about this wave count and I've got two problems with the wave count. One is, even though it's a very, very valid, absolutely valid scenario, um, the problem I have is, first of all, this wave two for me retraces a bit too much. Yeah, so you come down here and it basically eats up all the, uh, the losses again. 
and then what you would expect is this really if this really was a wave one and this a wave two and then in that move down in a wave three we should we should see a strong move down that would normally be the strongest wave now we haven't seen that we don't see that therefore actually i don't think this is playing out i think we are still in the wave four uh, and that is what i mentioned to you days ago because the longer this goes on the sideways movement the more likely it just is that the wave four hasn't finished yet so this is still sort of in the in the limbo here at the moment we don't know we don't know and uh, you have these periods in the chart where you just don't know so especially not here on the short time frame um so i can't tell you if we're going to break out to the downside or if we first go into this target area again and then move down this is just super unclear nobody is going to be able to tell you that what i can tell you is that it is in my opinion very very unlikely that we're going to see a breakout above 34.3k that is an important level that would be the top of the target area here and that would be above the level where it is likely that it's still a wave four if we go above that level and i mentioned that very clearly yesterday then yes we can have a breakout but um and that could be a breakout that even goes above 40k 45k maybe even 50k yeah this would be this would be something where we can see a relief rally price recovery you know something that um, will happen like this yeah and what then happens will be like this so the problem is if we now see a recovery from here with that foundation in place with that muddy price structure that we see here this is nothing that we can assume that an impulse will be built on this is not an impulsive wave structure and therefore any breakout from here breakouts are possible because they could be corrective breakouts which means we move up yes and everybody will get super bullish and then we crash down this would mean that this would painfully extend this entire correction and that we will then however still need a lower low at, at some point so any breakout from here i'd be super surprised if we see a breakout from here with new all-time highs highly highly unlikely breakout possible yes but not to new all-time highs not from this price structure we first in my opinion need a lower low before we then move up okay this is what we expected also for this move down here which in the end ended here early in may in my target area yeah we've been talking about that since november december and i'm still telling you because this price structure is so horrible for bitcoin we would still expect a lower low for bitcoin and um, yeah all we can do is hope for that because at the moment any breakout would be painful um if there is a breakout two advantages one advantage would be to get people out of certain positions um the other advantage would be a good recovery for altcoins yeah because altcoins some altcoins are really at the risk of no recovery at the moment and the other advantage the other benefit of such a sort of relief rally would be the macd because I did explain to you before, the MACD is just so bad. The MACD on the monthly, the MACD line is still way too high, in my opinion, to you know support <clears throat> um, massive price increases. This is sort of the only thing that really annoys me at the moment on the Bitcoin chart. Yes, the structure as well, but if we get a lower low, that's fine. Then it's all sorted out. Um, but if we first get a rally, that would help the monthly MACD to come down further. So when we then finally get the low, we will have a MACD line, which is low enough to support <clears throat> new all-time high. So this is sort of, <clears throat> sorry, this is sort of the only thing that, that really annoys me on the Bitcoin chart, um, that monthly MACD, and it will be brought down further should we see such a move up and then a move down. Now, I don't hope for that, but uh, it is certainly something we cannot rule out, but it's for me the most unlikely um, option my most likely view is that we will go down from here in another five wave decline now it could be that we first go into the target area here that would be likely above 32.3k yeah 43 no sorry 32.3k then we get into this target area here all the way up to 34.3 but then i would expect another move down so this is still here at the moment a very very muddy very difficult environment primarily move down expected breakout can't be ruled out especially not 
especially not since we hit my target area here um, below 28.6k. So this is playing a huge role. Yeah, we came into the higher level target area. So breakouts are possible from here, but from this foundation, in my opinion, only a corrective breakout to the upside. Okay, so hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.